So what I'm about to show you right now is a way to actually change colors globally across many documents inside of InDesign with one click. Does that sound like a good idea? The, the, I, I'll only show it to you on one condition, though, okay? That you still promise to bill your clients the same amount of time as if it took you four hours to do it, okay? Ask them if there's any clients in the room. Yes, are there any clients in the room? <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's see how we do this. There's a, 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 a command inside of uh, InDesign that Anne-Marie is very familiar with called the book command. And those of you who work on large publications know that rather than have one big unwieldy InDesign document with all your chapters of all your books, you can create a single InDesign file for every chapter and then create a book inside of InDesign to sew those documents together into one big book file. The thing though is that one of the benefits of that is that if you have many different files that are, that are, are your book, it, pagin it paginates all of your pages so the page numbers are all, so if you add like a new page to one or two new pages to one chapter, it just automatically shuffles all the other documents. So let's see how we do that inside of InDesign because it has a nice little feature in there as well. I'm going to go to the file menu here. I'm going to choose new. And I'm not going to create a new document. I'm going to create a new book. And we'll just call this one color just for now so we can find it. I'm going to throw it on my desktop. Click on the save button. And what it does is it opens up a panel called color because that's the name of my book right now. And what I could do is I can take all these documents. Let me close all these InDesign files right now. Just close them. We don't need them open at the moment. And by the way, you don't even have to open up those InDesign files. Isn't that lovely? And I'll take this on my desktop, all these files that I have right here. Here's a little tip that David Blattner taught me. Select all your items in your finder. Don't let go of the mouse. Command tab over to InDesign. And then drag all those into the color palette. Well, it has to be open. There you go. And that adds all those InDesign documents into that book. So now I have a book that is basically created with all these InDesign files. I'm just going to open up one of them. Just double click on one of these. I now have this open. And I'm going to modify the color in this one file. So let's go to my swatches panel here. Double click on reach yellow. And let's go ahead and change it to something like 100% yellow. Beautiful. Very nice. I'm now going to save this document. Now when you look at the book panel that appears right over here, right, this particular file is open right now. It tells me the page numbers in each of them. But there's also a funny looking icon all the way here in the corner. That icon indicates that that document is currently the source for all the styling of that particular book. So what I can do now is basically select all these books and I could go to the little fly out menu here and I could choose synchronize options. And normally when you go through a whole bunch of documents you would synchronize all your styles and, and everything but I only want my swatches to be synchronized, nothing else. Click OK and I can now go ahead and take all these and synchronize these documents. Synchronize the book. I can walk away because it's all happening. It happened already, done, finished. You don't believe me, I'll open up the letterhead file and now all the yellow has been changed in that particular document. Thank you.